Welcome to Grade 8 Science. For this week, we'll be talking about the particle nature of matter. And at the end of this lesson, you are expected to explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter. In order for you to understand this concept, we'll be dealing with the properties of matter. All matter can be identified by its properties. And when we say properties, it refers to the characteristics that describes a sample of matter. And as we all know, all matter has mass and volume. Mass refers to the measure of the amount of matter the object has. And volume is the measure of the space occupied by an object. There are other properties of matter such as shape, size, weight, texture, color, compressibility, fluidity, viscosity, density, hardness, electrical conductivity, and malleability. Before we proceed, let's check whether you can distinguish properties of matter from those of non-matter. Try to identify which is matter, which is not. I have here five samples. And the first sample is stone. Is stone an example of matter or non-matter? That's correct. Stone is an example of matter. Can you tell me its state of matter? Very good. Stone is solid. How about water? Is it a sample of matter or non-matter? Good job! Water is an example of matter. Can you tell its state of matter? Correct! Water is a liquid. The third sample is air inside the balloon. Again, I would like to emphasize air inside the balloon. Is it a sample of matter or non-matter? Great job! Air inside the balloon is a sample of matter and what is the state of matter of air that's right air is an example of gas how about heat and light are they samples of matter or non-matter very good heat and light are not samples of matter because heat and light are actually forms of energy In your learning activity sheet 3.1, you can start answering the first activity entitled, I Belong. The first task is for you to group the given materials into three groups. You also have to answer the guide questions. For the first guide question, how do you group the materials as A, B, and C? Question number two, what are the similarities among the materials in group A, B and C. After which, you can now proceed to the next activity entitled Properties of Matter Word Search, wherein you have to find seven properties of matter in the word search. You also have to define each property that you have identified. Now, in order for you to understand properties of solids, liquid, and gases, try to perform the following experiments. You need to have the following materials. Three plastic cups, water, one piece marble or stone, one half cup of cooking oil, syringe, sugar, and salt. For experiment A, you have to observe what happens in each setup as the different materials are added into the plastic cup. First, half fill the three plastic cups with water. Label the first plastic cup as setup A. 
and the other two plastic cups as set up B and set up C. Drop the marble or rock in the set up A. Pour one half cup of cooking oil to set up B. Lastly, inject into the water the air content of the syringe. You have to draw your observations for each setup on your learning activity sheet. For experiment B, you have to observe what happens in each setup of syringe filled with different material. For setup A, Fill the syringe with salt or water up to 30 ml of the syringe. Cover tightly the tip of the syringe with your finger and use your other thumb to push the plunger once. For setup B, Suck water from the cup of container up to 30 ml level of the syringe. Cover tightly the tip of the syringe with your finger and use your other thumb to push the plunger. For setup C, fill the syringe with air by pulling the plunger of the syringe until it reaches the 30 ml mark. Press your thumb on the tip of the plunger and use your other thumb to push the plunger once. And again, you have to draw your observations for each setup. For experiment A, you can observe that the density of materials added to the water varies. Solid has the highest density and gases has the lowest density. For experiment B, you are able to compare the compressibility of particles among solids, liquids, and gases. Compressibility refers to the ability of something such as fluid to be reduced in volume or size under pressure. In experiment B, you observe that you could slightly push the plunger of the syringe with air in it. You felt the springiness of the air inside the syringe which gives a hint about the distance between the particles of air. In other words, air being a gas can be compressed because there are large spaces between the particles so the particles can be made to come closer to each other. However, you are not able to push the plunger with water in it. You felt the resistance of the water to being compressed. The plunger could not be pushed because water is not as compressible as air. The particles of liquid water are closer to each other and it is difficult to push them even closer to each other. You are not able to push as well the plunger with sugar or salt in it because particles of solid has very little space between them, making it incompressed. After performing the experiments A and B, you can now start answering the guide questions in the explained part of your learning activity sheet. Part a. And analyze the following properties as solids, liquid, and gases on part B. Now, for evaluation, you are given the task to create and perform three experiments that show the different properties of solids, liquids, and gases. You have to list the procedure that you follow and make a conclusion. Conclusion. The criteria that will be used for grading are materials, procedure, and application of science concepts. Please be reminded that the elicit, engage, and explain are part of your written task. And the explore and evaluate are part of your performance task.